Hey there, we're just getting the bike loaded. We're on to the next adventure. So today, um, we're gonna go during the week here. I call the trifecta of mountain peaks. So it's gonna start with Eureka Mountain, then Ye Word. I don't know if I got that right. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna go down and uh, we're gonna stay overnight. And Craig Luke's gonna join us tonight. And we're gonna give it a shot for Lightning Strike Peak tomorrow. And then uh, for me, we'll separate and uh, Basically, I'm gonna go down to, from there, I'm gonna go down to Whipsaw and do Whipsaw and then come home. And that should be, that should be the week. Anyway, I'm just getting the bike loaded up. Um, we're gonna get uh, going here and yeehaw. I'll catch up with you in a minute. So we're gonna go on a few day adventure here. Um, we're gonna start off going over the Coat Creek Pass and then uh, we're gonna visit some peaks. Uh, one's Eureka, that's an old fire lookout. Um, the other one's a U word. And uh, finally, Lightning Strike Pass. So, Lightning Strike Pass. Uh, hopefully, uh, Craig Luke is going to join me tonight in my camp. We're going to meet up. Uh, he's on the road as well. And then um, we're going to try to hit Lightning Strike Pass tomorrow together. So, that'll be cool. Anyway, a little bit of road riding here. We've got to have to get. Uh, through the Slocan Valley to Coat Creek Pass. So a little bit of road here. Um, I'll turn it off from time to time. Okay, we're just heading through Castigar here. Then we're gonna go up to, uh, we're gonna go up the Slocan Road. A little bit of a, a little bit less of a tour than being on the highway. A little bit nicer ride. Okay, here we have the co-op in, uh, in the Slocan Junction. Just, uh, I just got filled up here. I'm not going to have gas for a couple days, so I did make sure I fill up rim full. Okay, our next turn is going to go, we're going to go up uh, Coat Creek. Oh, that's about, looks to be about three kilometers or so. And then, uh, we got started on the trail. Okay, here we are. Start of it all. I've been up uh, over the Coke Pass on my other series, so uh, I mean nothing new. Um, Okay, so we're currently on the uh, Little Slocan Lakes uh, Forest Service Road, and we have to branch off of that and hit the uh, Coke, uh, Coke Creek Pass. Now, I wanted to have a look at the Grizzly Wreck site, and I don't know how or why, but last time I just blew right by it, so I'm going to try and pay a little bit more attention this time, and hopefully uh, we can just wheel in there and check it out. Not that I'd ever stay at any place called Grizzly Creek, but you never know. You know me, I always like to check out these spots. I always like to know, you know, what the uh, what the rock sites look like. It's good to know. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Okay, here we are. We're just at the start of uh, Coat Creek. And I'm gonna try to make sure that I pay attention and we can check out this grizzly site, this grizzly wreck site. Uh, the temperature is perfect. Um, 22 degrees. This is uh, this is the time of year I really enjoy. Uh, you get out and it's nice and cool. Um, it's still okay in the night. But uh, yeah, I really like this time of year. It's just beautiful. I'm glad the smoke's cleared out because um, just the day to day, like me, go, you know, getting up and, and going to work and stuff, it's yeah, I find uh, it's it's really starting to bug me. So that's why uh, for me, I, I took off down the Vancouver Island there just not only to ride the northern part of the island, but to honestly just get away from the smoke. 
because it was very bad. It was really bad here in, in Okanagan. It was just, oh, it's terrible. Yeah, and as I mentioned, um, Craig Luke's gonna join me. But first, we're gonna try to make a try for this Eureka lookout. I've never been, um, very little information on it out there, but I'm gonna try to, I'm probably gonna have to remove a lot of the gear. It doesn't look all that kind to make up to make up to it. It looks pretty steep, so Okay, we're coming up on something that's marked, so This could be the uh, The wreck site So I might have to go check it out here Oh, there you go. Okay, this is it Okay, I did not come through in here before. Oh wow, it's nice in here. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna take a quick tour in there and check it out because, uh... Oh wow, that's wicked. Ooh, which has some good fishing right there. Huh. Guy could come up here and just camp right there and do some fishing probably. Yeah, I must have just blew past here before. Well, there's no sign on the road. Yeah, one thing that's gonna be uh, kind of interesting is we haven't been up here since uh, we came up just after the fire. It's going to be interesting uh, how much things have greened up. Um, we were up here last, the year there was a fire up here, and I think that might have been my first year of uh, doing the uh, YouTube videos, but... That was a tough little section there. That was that section where I kind of fell over, fell off the trail last year, or the year before, whenever I went up at last. But, oh, I won't lie. That was a tough go. Oh. But I think that's the worst of it. I think it gets a lot better from here on out. I gotta check and make sure I still have my lunch, my shoes. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, I'm just letting the bike cool a little bit here, but anyway, yeah, that was a tough go. Holy boy. I think that is the worst of it. I don't think we have any more, any more of that. That was a grueling little section, that was. Oh. Yeah, what it is, you just get those, oh, here's another piece. You just get those little rocks where it's, the bike just wants to spin and bounce, right? I won't lie to you, I got the, I had the legs down giving the old dab, that's for sure. Just staying away from the loose stuff, because as soon as the, you get the loose stuff, the rear, back, the back of the bike bounces and that shoots you off, off to the side. So if you can stay away from the loose stuff. That's huge.
quite cool up here. It's 17 degrees, so definitely got some elevation going on. It's a 6200. Well, there you go. This is the uh, highest peak. That other one was just kind of like a, a little bit of a peak up a side of a mountain before he went to the real peak here. I didn't find that easy. That was uh, definitely had some challenging spots in it. And like I said, I was uh, I was using my feet to dab because there's just it kind of keeps you keeps your momentum. <coughs> Pulling the clutch whenever the wheel reel slips so you don't get bounced off to one side. I think we're at the top. 6649. Oh yeah, the fire. This is where the fire starts. That's well, starting to green up a little bit. You can see the trees that didn't get affected by the fire now. They came through all the trees had no needles so four leaves but it looks actually really good I'm surprised okay we definitely stopped here last time and you could see the fire had to come up had to come up from this side Lots of new roads out here. That's for darn sure. Okay, this is greening up pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of windfall. <laughs> That's just all going to fall over. Bet you the small stuff. That's just busting. Okay, this is new. This definitely wasn't here before. Oof, this was supposed to happen in the spring. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a washout like that can finish a road like this if nobody else is using it. Holy, look at how low the water is. Check that out. Holy cow. So I think we'll wing in to uh, Tate Creek and uh, have lunch there. Oh, can you ever see the sand? The beaches are nice up here when the water's lower. When the water's high, there isn't much for beach. Yeah, so we're experiencing drought conditions, so that's why you'll see the water so low. Um, because we have the uh, Columbia River Treaty release water to the United States uh, for irrigation and uh, power producing and whatnot. But uh, it's, it's record low runoffs, a record low rain we've had. We haven't had rain. We've had a little bit of rain in the last six months. It's just, it's unreal how little rain we've had. Know what those green things are? Somebody can tell me what those green things are. That'd be cool. Those things. I don't know what those are. Well, this is running some water anyway. I, uh, last time, it's probably about the same as last time I came through, I guess. Let's take a wing in here. We think I'm going to have lunch in here. Caution, barren area. That's good to know. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. So this is where I stayed last time, right here, I think. No, this one over here. Oh yeah, this place is empty. Okay, well I'm gonna have some lunch. And we'll keep going. Yeah, I'm not, I'm glad I'm not staying here tonight. Cause holy, the wind is brutal right now. Just brutal. It is windy here. I'll be pretty freaked out with all these trees. Okay, yeah, I just had a quick lunch and um, on to the next uh, thing here. So we got to get the full key, get some gas, cross the ferry, and then uh, then we're going to go off on our first little side trail. Oh, it's not very long, maybe 25 clicks long. And then that will take us to the base of where we're going to go to the lookout. That's the plan. We're gonna try to make it up the lookout, come back down, and then uh, go uh, meet up with Craig. I'm still impressed about how they saved the park. They were able to save the park from burning, the actual, the actual park itself. I mean, sure, the trees in here are burned, but oh man, they were lucky, boy. Could've been way worse. I think I've been up here where it's been this low before. Look at that. It's barely, you know, just enough to pass through. Okay, we're off a ferry, and we're off on a place called Watshawn Road. So, just have to make sure that I can get to where I need to go. I don't know why there's a road beside us. It's awfully strange, I think. Twenty-five k of this, and then that'll put us to where we uh, we're gonna climb the lookout tower. So hopefully this goes okay. Don't know, never been here before. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, this isn't a bad little road. I mean, uh, it's a little better now. I think we turned off kind of the main main route. It's not as big now. Uh, a little bit of traffic, but um, yeah, it's nice. It's trying really hard to rain, but it won't last. I mean, I see, I checked the weather this morning, I didn't mention anything about rain, but I can see the blue sky on the other side of it. I got a little bit wet here, but um, yeah, this is a neat little road. So this pretty much parallels the, the highway, so the highway that goes from the ferry to um, Cherryville. So if you don't want to travel on the highway, you just want to go up, this is, uh, this heads towards Cherryville. This is, it is pretty much the same distance. It kind of parallels the highway, but it's off-road. Yeah, so I'm just taking a rest between, underneath a tree here. It was 
downpouring pretty good so I just want to stay out of the rain if I can I have no way to dry my gear because I'm going to be camping tonight and if it's not warm enough my gear will be soaked so I just uh, it's a kind of a precautionary thing I can see the sun's already out and I think I've avoided it okay now we're on a like it's like a really old logging road it says it's not maintained so I hope it gets us through I think it will okay I'm having trouble finding my way well there's a road I'm not able to get going in the direction that I need to go so I think I'm going to try to go up that logged up logged out section there's definitely a road on the hillside I can see it be it. <laughs> it has to go four kilometers. That's all I need. I just need it to go four kilometers. That's it. Come on, baby. top of the ridge up here it's quite a view we're just kind of going along and making our way towards the other so I'm hoping it comes out oh wow okay there is the logging road I was gonna take it obviously didn't yeah we're quite high we're at uh, 5,500 feet so uh, 17 degrees yeah we've climbed a little bit for sure kind of winding our way down I do see a fairly recent road off to my right which is nice I think I'm seeing cow uh, sign I just took off my bag and got through here. It wasn't too bad. I'm so close. I'm so close to being on that other trail. She goes. Oh. oh boy. next time folks where we meet up with a local celebrity we stay at a nice little camp and we head out for a day of adventure thanks for watching folks click here to subscribe so you don't miss future videos or click here to see some of my other videos if you've enjoyed this video please like and share and leave any comments or questions at the bottom of the page